Greetings! Welcome to our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to calculate difference between two rows using Power BI DAX functions in Power BI. We have three columns. In first column, we have product name and in second column, we have sales date and in third column we have total number of sales per day. Let's calculate the difference between these rows in DAX. First step, we need to sort data as per our convenient. Then we must create two index columns in our table to compare rows in Power BI. Second step, need to add a new index column starts with 0 to our table. When we create an index column in query editor, Power BI adds it as an applied step in the query settings of the query. It can be changed, moved or modified at any time. To add index column, select the add column tab on the ribbon and select index column drop down. The index column drop down appears. To add index column starts with 0, select from 0 in drop down. Once we select it, new index column starts with 0 has been created. Third step is need to add another new index column starts with 1 to our table. Power BI adds it as another applied step in the query settings of the query. To add index column starts with 1, select index column drop down, then select from 1 in drop down. Once we select it, new index column starts with 1 has been created. Select Home tab and click on Close and Apply to close the Power Query Editor by applying changes to our source table. Fourth step, add calculated column in source table to create DAX functions for calculating difference between two rows in Power BI. To add calculated column, select the Table Tools tab on the ribbon. Then select New Column from the options. The new calculated column has been created. Now we can rename this column to rename this column, we have to select this column. We have renamed this new calculated column as sales variation. We will begin DAX functions with where keyword and named this variable as diff. Variables stores the result of an expression as named variable which can then be paused as an argument to other measure expressions. Once resultant values have been calculated for a variable expression, those values do not change even if the variable is referenced in another expression. First, we will select sales column from product table and enter minus simple to subtract. We use calculate DAX function and use sub DAX function and selected sales column. Then we use filter DAX function to filter product table. Now we use an expression index dot one column equal to earlier of index column 
and close the bracket of filter dax function now close the bracket of calculate dax function then we use return keyword to get the output of this variable we must use if dax function to find whether output of diff variable is equal to value of sales column or not for that we have used value dax function and selected sales column from product table if this logical function is true then it should return zero else if this logical function is false then it should return the output of diff variable that's it we have successfully calculated the difference between two rows using power bi dax functions in power bi desktop if you notice the first row the difference value is zero and the other values are available with the variances hope you enjoyed this video give us a like and share this video with others and watch other video tutorials by petaka technologies your valuable feedback question or comments about this video are always welcome to watch more videos like this visit our official youtube channel petaka technologies to get notifications on new upcoming videos hit that subscribe button and activate bell icon you can also visit our official website petakatechnologies.com that's all for this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video